I found a pattern for the male profile on the internet. I increased the size using Matthias's big print program. Cut this out of quarter inch plywood. And then I wanted a spacer that would go all the way around here that was three quarters of an inch thick. Used a piece of three quarter inch MDF. Cut this out on a scroll saw, sanded it on the spindle sander. Used a router with a pattern bit to copy the outside of the profile and to round out the inside of the brain and then attached another piece of quarter inch plywood and copied that to these two pieces. Wood dolls are used to index the three pieces so everything stays in alignment. Now that I'm putting gears into the gear head, I know my spring motor is going to be down here. This is going to be turning 78 RPM. I want to slow that down a little bit because I don't want these to be turning that fast. And when I get to this point, I want to split that load left and right. So this is driving some of the gears and this is driving some of the gears. So I'm hoping that by splitting this and splitting the gears fairly evenly left and right, it won't take so much to drive this. These are small wheels or gears like what's used in a clock and I usually do all the inside cuts first because you're just as likely to have a problem with the plywood when you cut one of these out the back side can blow out sometimes the uh, the veneer is fairly brittle it will come off and when those are cut out that gives me something to hold on to it's a lot easier to hold on to that your finger can go into one of these cutouts than if it's just a smooth disc I'll come around, I'll do all the cuts on one side, and then I'll start cutting out the teeth. I sand these wheels to an even outside diameter and deburr the back side. Keeps me from getting splinters. The more consistent diameter that you have around here, the easier it'll be to get into a rhythm when you're cutting these teeth. And once these teeth start coming around to this side, then I have a little handle I can stick my finger in there and use that to steer this. Every once in a while you need to clean up all these pieces that came out of the teeth. I need to make a bunch of spacers for all those wheels and the easiest way was to take a whole bunch of plywood, drill the appropriate size hole in there and string them on a piece of piano wire and then chuck them up on the lathe. These are rough cut. I'm going to turn them to an even diameter. That's a lot easier than trying to do it on the disc sander. Most of these are 3 seconds thick aircraft grade model airplane plywood and I've got a couple of quarter inch light ply pieces put in there.
a little test run of the first four gears. I have some little nylon washers under there which really aren't necessary but I had them. These are spaced out so there's not much play in there. Another couple of washers on here and those will stay back in the back when they're running. And here are a few more patterns which need to be drilled and cut out. If you decide to make a gearhead, there's a lot of wheels involved and these are all in increments of two teeth. Uh, it's not real easy to determine one size from another when they're all in a stack and these have a habit of going missing, getting hidden someplace. You make a wheel board, it only took about 15-20 minutes to make this and it has saved a lot of time. I'm driving 10 gears on this side and 25 gears on this side. So I'll cross over here off of this half of the drivetrain, come over on the back side. All the gears from the front side are placed in a container along with the map. Hopefully I'll remember how to put that together again.